Hello everyone, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to discuss about how to create a global variable that can be shared among all the tests in PyTest. So here, that means that if a global variable is created and for example, test one has updated the global variable. So the updated global variable should be available to the next test or and so on. And uh, so here on the screen, you can see the code that is already written to save some time for you. So we have uh, two Python files here. You can see a uh, global variable example and global variable example two, dot, uh, two Python files. So each Python file contains uh, two classes. Here, this is the class one and the class two in one of the pi file and the other python file have class 3 and class 4 and you can see each class is having uh, multiple tests by test so yeah if you go to the test this is the first test case uh, of class 1 so we are declaring the global variable if you see here this is coming uh, by test dot to global variable. This is coming from the conf test dot py. So I'm declaring the global variable in the conf test dot py file by using py test. So when we uh, set the global variable as py test dot global variable name, so it will be available to all the tests. So yeah, so directly I'm using uh, py test dot global where which refers to the variable in contest.py and in the first test you can see I have incremented to 1 which means that it picks up the default value 10 and increments it to 1 which means it will be 11 so I am doing the assertion with 11 in the next line so in the second test case I am directly doing the assertion so here the expectation is whether the value or the updated value is passed to second test case from first test case or not so i'm doing that assertion and then i'm doing the same thing in the first test case of the class 2 as well so the expectation is whether the updated pytest.global variable that is 11 from this class is getting passed to the second class or not so i'm verifying that and similarly in the global uh, example uh, similarly in the other python file so we are doing that uh, update of the variable again here you can see we are uh, incrementing it by plus 1 and we are verifying whether it's 12 or not so it means that the updated value 11 should be av available to the uh, first test case on this python file and it should be incremented to uh, since we are incrementing it to 1 it should be uh, accepted with 12 and it should return true so similarly we are verifying uh, the same thing with the second case of the class 3 and also the class 4 so we are just verifying whether uh, the global variable is equal to 12 or not that is the updated value of the global variable so let's run this. So I'm doing the pi test. Okay. So I fun s to print the print statements. And let me do enter. So here we have a six uh, tests. So which would be run. You can see six tests are passed, which means that it worked as expected. So, so the global variable is shared across the tests and updated value from uh, test one is available to test two and our uh, class one is available to class two and so on. So, so yeah, th this works as expected. Uh, so you can use this methodology or you can, there can be multiple ways to do that. So this is uh, one way which I like storing the global variable at pi test level and sharing it across the tests. So one uh, limitation here is we cannot use this method or any method uh, I have uh, tried out when you are launching it in the parallel. So what I mean is like if you are using the 
pi distribution for parallel execution like launching multiple threads or multiple test cases in parallel it doesn't work because you will get unexpected results because of parallelly multiple threads would be running yeah so let me show you pi test minus uh, n i'll run four threads so you can see pi failed for well, one test case passed the only case I, that is passed uh, i think the only the first case of the class one everything else failed because they there there's the four threads which are running in the parallel and so well, okay so this so this is a problem yeah i need to have to figure out the solution for this so once i get the solution on how to do this uh, using the pi test i'll uh, do an updated video or the part 2 for this so and i'll also attach the same link in the at, at the end of the video once i'm done thank you if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and please do subscribe for more videos